In the edit view, we also have a body module over here, and this is only applicable to the acoustic guitar presets. And it simulates the vibrations of the body of the guitar and the air cavity separately, and you can control them both. Now, there's a tone knob for the soundboard for the plate part over here, and we have separate decay knobs for both the plate and the air cavity, and they all sort of interact together. And the size drop down menu here chooses the size of the body of the guitar. We can go from extra large to extra small. And basically, the larger sizes emphasize more low end and the smaller sizes emphasize more high end. But we have this low cut knob to sort of compensate. And as we dial this up, it decreases the low end coming from the body part of the guitar. So let's experiment. I'm going to solo this guitar part here and I'll kind of exaggerate to show you what these knobs do. That's a pretty ugly sound, but just to exaggerate and show you what they do. fuller tone with more of the air cavity resonating. can really influence the quality of the sound with that. Now for electric guitars, I'm going to switch to the electric DI model just to sort of take the focus off the effects and concentrate as closely as we can onto the actual sound being modeled here. And we have different pickup types. This is applicable to the electric guitars only, of course. Now first thing is we can switch between the neck and the bridge pickups, and we can have both on or one or the other. And we can do this as well on the play page over here with this knob so we can switch in either place. And I'm going to focus on one for now just so we can really focus in on what these controls are doing. So this simulates the action of the pickups on the guitar and we have two types. We have a single coil or humbucker or noise cancelling type pickup. So we have frequency and resonance knobs for each of these individually to control the tone of those pickups and the position of each pickup can also be adjusted with these position knobs. Now the trim knob over here acts as kind of an amplitude offset for the bridge. So when we're using both together, we can have the bridge blend in higher or lower with the trim knob and the volume is an overall level offset. So let's experiment with this. As I say, it's the most sort of clinical in this DI mode without the effects added in. So that's the pickup section for electric guitars, and it's the body module for acoustic guitars to control the air cavity and the body of the guitar. So let's look at a little summary here. In the body module, it simulates the vibrations of the body and the air cavity separately. There's a tone knob for the soundboard, but separate decay knobs for the plate and the air cavity, and we can control the size of the body. And as well, we can filter the low cut with the low cut knob. Now, when we're working with electric guitars, this simulates the action of the pickups on the guitar. And we can choose between neck and bridge, either in play view or in this edit view. And we can also choose between single coil or humbucker. And we have separate frequency and resonance knobs for each of the pickups. We can control their position, the offset between the two of them, and then the overall level. See you for more in the next video.